Hey everyone, uh, my name is Rabia and I'm a cloud advocate for Microsoft 365. And with me is Aicha Boss and Betty Rose. Let's introduce ourselves, starting with you, Aicha. Hi, Rabia. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, so hello, everyone. My name is Aicha Bash. I'm a cloud advocate working together with Rabia and the same team. And today we have our special guest with us. Betty Rose is joining us today from the Graph Explorer. Betty, would you like to introduce yourself too? Yes, so my name is Betty. Uh, I'm a program manager with the Graph Developer Experience team. Um, and I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm super happy to be here. So um, this is a multi-part video series that we're doing on Microsoft Graph Explorer. But before we jump into Explorer, we should know what Graph is and why it is relevant. So maybe um, I will check with you, H. Tell us a bit about Graph. Yeah, sure. So this is always the main question, right? What is Graph? Um, yeah. You know, every single day uh, we, it, it, at our schools or at work, we chat with our colleagues on Teams, we send emails and we join on calls, um, we create maybe tasks on our to-do list. Every single thing we do using all these Microsoft 365 products are creating data in Microsoft 365 Cloud. And the way to reach out our data and maybe use our data in our apps is consuming Microsoft Graph. Microsoft Graph is a REST API, which helps us connect with all the data sets available in Microsoft 365 Cloud. So basically, this is it. That is Graph, yes. Um, so um, I think if you want to learn more about Graph, you can go into our Learn modules in Microsoft uh, Learn. So you can go to aka.ms slash learn hyphen graph to know, to learn the fundamentals basically of what Graph is. And another uh, way after you've understood what Graph is, you could jump into Graph Explorer, which is probably like a playground where you could go ahead and test this API. So we have Betty Rose from uh, the Microsoft Graph Explorer team here to uh, introduce you to Microsoft Graph Explorer. Over to you, Betty. So you want to learn about Graph and you want to understand uh, what are the kind of things that you can do with Graph. So Graph Explorer is the first place to go. So it's a learning tool that enables developers who want to start developing applications on Graph um, to just see, make requests and see the responses you can get. And I'm going to show you a, a short demo of the Graph Explorer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, so how do we go that, uh, Betty? Which uh, links should we follow to go to Graph Explorer? Is it public? aka.ms forward slash G. OK, awesome. So it is public to everyone. Whoever goes to aka.ms slash GE, they will be directed to Graph Explorer, right? Correct, correct. If you just go to this link, you will be directed to Graph Explorer. And so this is how Graph Explorer looks like. Um, and one of the things that you will notice, you can make calls without even being logged in. And I'm, try I'm going to try and do that. So we have this query that allows you to access your information. That's why it is slash me. And so I'm going to run it and see the kind of information Graph has about me without being logged in and so it will give you like your name your given name your job title your email your mobile phone any information about you but this in this case we have megan bowen which is a demo account that um we use for you to experience graph without being really logged in so yeah megan is everywhere megan <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so we are going to try and log in and see the kind of information that we can get if um, we log in. So before logging in, uh, Microsoft Graph Explorer is using sample data set in the background, right? Just for us to understand yeah. how it works. Yes, correct. So when you're logging in, that means you're actually going to work in your dev tenant. So if you have a tenant, then you're logging in. So this is actual data that's going to bring up. So whatever API you're running, this is going to be run uh, on actual 
uh, tenant, right? So if you do a post, it's going to update stuff. Correct, correct. So I logged in as Megan Bowen again. So this is a new <laughs> tenant, um, and you're going to see the kind of data that we can collect if we try and make queries through Graph Explorer. So I'm going to run the query again, and you're going to see that Megan Bowen is actually a marketing manager. And if I wanted to see who their manager is, we have some sample queries on the mm -hmm. left, um, which you can play with. And they just give you an idea of how queries are in different um, entities in Graph. And we have several entities. This is just a small representation of the entities in Graph API. Um, you want to go further and uh, start creating applications that are using graph um, that I are calling graph. We give you some code snippets over here in four different programming languages. Um, and these code snippets, you can quickly just copy them into your application and start your development journey. An interesting thing is the modify permissions tab uh, because this data is not accessible until you get permission. So this is the tab where you come in request for consent to access that data. So essentially what you're saying is you're giving Graph Explorer um, permission to go and access your data and show it on Graph Explorer. Yeah. So that's a small demo of Graph Explorer. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, and that's really nice. We have four different uh, languages, but it's all right there. You just have to, you, you probably get a guidance on how to do it. And yeah. I also love the sample queries because, you know, we've probably worked on all data queries like this all our life. We still need some, you know, help here and there, how to filter, how to select um, mm -hmm. and things like that. So these uh, little samples are pretty handy. Um, probably one area that we will focus more on in our next videos, probably in this video series is around permission, because I think it is a bit more um, uh, to be talked about uh, than this. So yeah, that's uh, pretty impressive. What do you think, Aicha? Well, that that's, this is definitely really useful. Before I uh, try any of the API in my own app, I always go to Graph Explorer and uh, search. Uh, maybe if I'm looking for Teams uh, Graph API, I search for it in the sample queries, and I click it and see how data uh, response looks like. And after that, I start consuming by just copying the code snippet. And this really makes our lives easier uh, mm -hmm. instead of just trying to understand uh, how it works or trying to figure out the API itself. We have all the samples here. And uh, if I want, I can also try out new things in this uh, query box. I can edit it and I can see the response coming. This is really awesome and really practical for developers. Yep. And where would you go, Betty, if you want to learn further about uh, Explorer and what what's there, what are the workloads available and things like that? Where would the developers go? So if you wanted to learn anything on Graph, um, the magic URL is aka.ms forward slash graph. And it will give you it will take you to this place and you will have all the resources related to Graph. Awesome. Amazing. Thanks, everyone. See ya. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.